you've been working hard on your relationship with your mother. Mm -hmm. How is that now? It's good. Is it's it? good. Mm -hmm. Yep. Every day is a brand new day, and we're working on the steps to really just seeing eye to eye. You got to think about it like this: two people that are so similar. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like strong. No, listen to me. No, listen to me. No, no, no. I will look at it from this way. Da, 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 like all that. So like now I've learned like a lot of patience. Yeah. Instead of just like reacting or kind of just really cut, like shutting off. Because mm -hmm. for years that was like one of my mechanisms. I would just kind of like just cut people like out of my life, mm -hmm. which I've learned that it's not a healthy thing. So it was being a better communicator, being a better listener. Mm -hmm. All of that. Mm -hmm. And that seems like that, that has spilled over into every facet of mm -hmm. your life mm -hmm. where, you know, if you're listening better and really being more patient, then things can kind of turn around. Yeah, in a blink of an eye, mm -hmm. in a blink of an eye. You know, we go through things and you have some people that kind of dwell on the past or like look too much into like the future. Like, I'm more like living in my present. You know, because we wary. We're like, what am I going to do tomorrow? Am I going to be late? Da, 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 da. Like, some people just worry, like, too much. is like, be easy. Like, just let just let it flow. Is that how you attack your sober lifestyle? Or is that like, no, I have to be very intentional every single day about mm -hmm. staying sober? Because you're at 11 months now, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, on the 14th. And then September 14th would be one year. Come on, one year. I just... With the sobriety, I just was like, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired mm -hmm. of myself. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what you gonna do? Because mm -hmm. it's gonna either go two ways. Actually, one way. Down a rabbit hole. What was the hardest part about it? No hardest part. No. Yeah, because I'm like really like, once I put something in my mind, like that's just what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like that's just what it is. Like I'm gonna stick to it like cold turkey, like I'm done. What changes have you seen? I don't know, physically or mentally since you decided to be come clean and sober? Yeah, I feel like for me, it, the biggest thing that I kind of go by now is like the whole, like the mind, body, soul, Yeah. right? And for years I would do like, okay, the sober, so it's like, like your body, like your body, body like working out, let me back it up. <laughs> so for me, it's working out, sobriety in the Bible. Angela White opening up while giving back. E.T. spoke with the reality star at Katarina's Club, a nonprofit focused on youth hunger and empowerment. Okay. Hi, Angela. Hi. Welcome to my kitchen. Thank you, Chef Bruno. Thank you so much. So I'm super excited to be here. I'm ready to cook with you Thank and you. learn a, f a few things. So how many plates are we preparing today? Okay, I do an average between three to 5,000 meals a day. We are in a tourist city in Orange County alone, mm -hmm. 105 locations. Boys Girls Club, school, some church, yeah. on the street, in a motel, motel mm -hmm. room, motel family. I have a four driver go mm -hmm. from in the morning till late yeah. afternoon yeah. to all those locations, deliver everything. And we give a, anything we have a hand on it, and then hand together, we can resolve the problem around the world. And as children, like, they have no way to, like, fend for themselves. They can't go out and get a job or, you know, there's no, uh, it's no other way. You are the best sous chef I've ever had. This looks amazing. It smells amazing. Yummy. Yummy. 